Hello, my wonderful, amazing artists. It's me, Miss Abby. Back with you for another week of art. And today, we are thinking about how our hands can help us create art. You can sculpt if you've got Play-Doh or clay or even twisty wire pipe cleaners. You can use your hands to create a shadow puppet like this, like this, like this. You can play with light and shadow to create a shadow puppet or you can hold a tool. Today's art challenge is to transform our hand tracing into an amazing animal. Let's get started. Okay, to do this, you can either use pencil or crayon to trace your hand. So you have your drawing hand, that's holding your pencil or your crayon, and your helping hand. This helping hand is lying flat on our paper. Now we are going to trace our hand and we're gonna keep the helping hand super still. And it's gonna tickle a little and it'll feel kinda of cool. We're gonna trace our hand. Ta-da! That's step okay. one. Now we're gonna look at our hand tracing and we're gonna use our imagination to think about what kind of animal we can transform this into. I'm gonna have a different idea of what my hand shape can become than you have or that your sister or brother or your classmate has. And that's part of the fun. I think everyone's gonna come up with something different. And what helps get ideas for me is rotating the paper and looking at it from different angles. Because I might see something different. Like from here, I see an elephant and this is the ear and this is the table tail. But from here, I see a tropical fish. And from here, I see like a rooster or a peacock. And from here, I see an octopus or a jellyfish. But everyone's hand shape is going to create a different shape. And everyone has a different imagination to use to transform the shape of their hand into an amazing work of art. That brings us to step two. Let's get into it. Okay, so for this hand trace, I decided to transform my hand into a insect of some kind because I love drawing insects. And I chose to use a marker, but if you have crayons or paints or any kind of supply at your house, use whatever you've got. Sidewalk chalk also would be amazing here. And I'm remembering that I have my growth mindset. So if things are not turning out how I expect, that's totally cool. I can just add more and transform it. Ta-da! Here's my hand trace transformation. Remember when I traced my hand? Well now I turned that shape and built off of it to create a firefly. Here's some I created with some kindergartners. 
This is a hybrid of a jellyfish and a unicorn. And it has rainbow colors. Now here's a zebra. And here's a tropical fish. So you can start with your hand shape and create any animal in your imagination. Whatever your favorite is, even an imaginary animal, like a rainbow jellyfish unicorn. I'm pretty sure the kindergartners made that one up. I cannot wait to see what you do with our hand trace transformation project. Now remember, step one, trace your hand. Step two, transform your hand into a wonderful work of art. Have fun making art. Bye. Can't wait to see what you come up with.